Today we'll look at the benefits and how-to behind Parent Square's permission slips and forms. Let's start by looking at the top three reasons to use Parent Square's permission slips and forms. Number one, accessibility. If you're using ParentSquare, it can translate into 120 different languages for our families. This makes the information very accessible if we're using the built-in features within ParentSquare. Secondly, in addition to collecting parent signatures for permission, you can also create volunteer signups, and parents have the ability to add attachments to send back to you. And lastly, it's very efficient. It's easy to send reminders to families that did not submit their information the first time around. You can add events to the family's calendars and in one place you can look to see live who's completed the form as well as their responses. To get started, you'll go to Parent Square and click on New Post. I suggest skipping the To field until you're all done so you don't accidentally send something that's not finished. So we're going to pretend we're going on a field trip to Fort Vancouver. And I'm going to add an image to my message. And then I just included some information about our field trip, including the date that the field trip is, the due date for the permission slips. I'm going to have a question to see if people want a school lunch. And I'm also going to include a volunteer sign up. So this is my post. And now we have these add ons that can go down below our post. So let's start with forms and permission slips. So the first question is, when is the form due? So I'm going to have the form due on the 22nd. Yes, it requires a signature. And the type of signature I'm asking for is giving permission, like on a field trip. So there's some different options here. You do want to check require student information. And then question. So I'm going to ask them, um, does your student need a lunch from school? Just like Google Forms, there's different question types. So I'm gonna have them select an option. So I've included my two choices and you can also add more questions if you need to. So next we're going to add a volunteer request form. That's just gonna go down below. Actually, you don't need to have a date, but our task. I'm gonna start with the task. So I've included what I'm looking for. So chaperones for the field trip on 1029, start time, end time, and how many people are needed. So next I added a calendar entry and I've simply added the date that I want my form due and a time. So now I've gone to the top and added in to my to field and I'm going to post now. Now here's the parent perspective on the website. First is a calendar event and they can click on this and add it to the different calendars that they have. Next is the body of the message and then the form. So it does let them know complete the form by the 22nd and my account's not working well because I'm both the parent and the student, but normally a parent would be able to click on this and choose which child they have associated with them that they're giving permission to. Um, they can choose if they want a sack lunch or not. And then they can type their name here. They need to type their name as it is in Skyward and that does then give legal permission and they can choose I approve. Down below is that volunteer list and I accidentally added it twice it looks like but they can sign up and then how many spots are they taking? So they could say maybe both family members, they have two family members that are joining. They could add those names here and save. So let's go back to Parent Square and look at the teacher perspective. If I scroll down below, it shows me the volunteer list and I have two chaperone positions filled. I have three open. It shows me who signed up and any notes that they've added. Now let's look at the permission slip portion. So for that, I would go to this little icon for settings, go down to add-ons, go to forms and view report. Now my account did not work very well for demonstrating this, but normally what you will see is how many messages were sent out, how many people completed that permission slip, and then who you're still waiting for. Now, in addition to the spreadsheet that's going to be showing down below, you could sort by who needs a hot lunch. You can save it, print it, but you can also click on a waiting reply and then just send a reminder to those people. And lastly, if you click on a waiting reply, you can individually mark somebody complete. So maybe it's somebody that printed out the form and brought it in or gave you verbal permission over the phone. You could mark them complete and then that'll show up here. And that's everything about permission slips and forms through ParentSquare.